Hello voxel lovers and welcome for today's video. We are taking a look at the block editor. Make sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe and check out our other Vox Edit basic tutorials. The block editor is for creating textures on blocks and has similar layout to the modeler. Within block editor, your object will always be a solid cube. You can't remove or create voxels, only color them. So we only have the tools available, pen, line, screen, circle, box, flood, and picker tools, which all only operate in paint mode. You can't size up or down the blocks. They'll always be the standard terrain size, which within sandbox is one meter. This is 32 by 32 by 32 pixels on each side. You can rotate and flip each side. You can use the mirror tool to design on each face. The block side panel shows you a flat view of each of the cube's six sides. You can select them one at a time and flip and rotate these. Although edges touching that face will be altered as well. PNGs of that face can be exported and imported individually. This is helpful if you want to reuse a face across multiple blocks, like a common grass texture with different kinds of flowers or dirt on it. The material and palette panel is the exact same as the modeler, supporting glowing emissive swatches. You can save, edit and load your palettes here. In the camera view, we can switch between perspective, which is our default and ornographic. We can also select any side of the face and it will give us a 2D flat view of this. You can see how it will look in the game maker when multiple blocks are stacked on top of one another. When you go to export, you'll be able to select whether the block is fluid, meaning the detail on the block will flow around, or the transparency of the block. Unfortunately, choosing this doesn't show how it will look in the 3D view. You will have to test this out and check what it looks like within the game maker itself. The transparency filter is only for the terrain blocks and transparency cannot be utilized anywhere else within VoxEdit currently. Hopefully this has helped you understand a little bit more about the terrain blocks and how to use the block editor within VoxEdit. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time Voxel lovers. Goodbye!